Hi guys, this is Wednesday's um, English lesson. So today you're going to be looking at writing a letter from the perspective of Stanley to his mum. Okay, so to warm ourselves up, we're going to have a look at our word of the day. So the word of the day today is translucent. Now you may have heard that word before, or you may have heard the synonym transparent. So it's meaning to allow some light to pass through it. Okay, so translucent wings spread as wide as the cavern. So it's not crystal clear when you look through it, but... Um, you can see some light and some things through it. Um, so have a think about, have you ever had, have you ever seen anything that's translucent? Is there anything now Look around your room? Is there anything we think, oh yeah, that's translucent because I can see some light passing through it, but not all of the light, okay? Now an antonym is opaque. Opa and I remember an antonym means opposite. So opaque meaning that it doesn't let any light through, okay? Right, we're going to start off with our Eric starter for today. So you've got a picture here, there's a girl and there's a giraffe. Um, so it says here, E explain what is a companion. Remember it's linking to the picture. What is round the giraffe's neck? Infer, interpret, where do you think the girl is leading the giraffe? And also why? Why do you think? The girl is leading the giraffe to that place. And last one, Chase, where do you think the girl has got the giraffe from? So use your imagination, be creative, okay? What answers can you come up for the choice one? So have a go at that um, now, and then you can come back to the video, okay? Okay, so like I said before, you are writing a letter today um, using the different features, but as if you are Stanley and you're writing a letter to his mum. Now, yesterday you did some planning and you were really good with this and really creative. So you looked at things like what Camp Green Lake is like and you obviously lied. Um, it said things like it has a huge lake and it's very green when it's not. What fun things you do. So you didn't write about having to dig holes. He talked about jet skiing, biking, hiking, what lovely food he's having. Again, the food isn't lovely. He talked about the staff, they're all being friendly, what the boys are like. Obviously, we know that sometimes the boys are nice to him, sometimes they're not. What's the accommodation like? So lots of you talked about five-star hotels and mattresses and fluffy pillows. And we know that it's not like that. He's got a cot in a tent and the person who used to sleep in that cot was called bath bag, so it's full of stains. How much is he enjoying himself? And we know he's not having a good time, but obviously we know that he's going to lie and say how much of a fabulous time he's having. Okay, so talk, you've already done all this bit, so if you need to look back at yesterday's work, go back and look at it because you've got your plan and that's going to be the main bulk of your letter. Now I have done an example letter for you and I'm going to read it to you and then we're going to go, go through and a, a look at all the features of the letter but then also look at some of the spag elements as well. So, Camp Green Lake, Calhoun County, Texas, 27th of January 2021. Dear Mum, I just wanted to send you a quick letter to let you know how I've been getting on at Camp Green Lake. I am missing you all terribly, but there is no need to worry about me. I am having a blast here. I have officially done a full week at camp and I've already made some friends. We've been out on the lake all week, so I'm pretty tired. Once I pass the swimming test, I'll get to learn how to water ski and jet ski. How cool is that? I am getting used to the weather here and we have ample amount of shade to protect ourselves from the sun. Mr. Sir, one of my counsellors, is always coming by to check on me to make sure I'm, I am okay. He provided us with freshly made pineapple juice yesterday and we have unlimited ice cold water to keep us hydrated. The people here are extremely kind and funny and we all have nicknames for each other. Mine is caveman. The food is also extraordinary and they have a variety of meals, but of course none are as good as yours. The showers let me talk the showers let me talk to you about the showers. They are amazing. The water supply is really strong and there is hot water too. I spent half an hour in there yesterday. Some of my friends are zero, x-ray, squid and armpit. There are even many others. Everyone is making me feel very comfortable and making me feel at home. I really like it here, but I really miss you. How is everyone at home? Have any of Dad's experiments worked out yet? 
Hope the house isn't too smelly from his sneakers experiment. Please write back ASAP and don't worry about me. I really like it here. Lots of love, Stanley. Okay, so you can see I've colour coded certain things. So we're going to go through and you can have a guess before I reveal. So this bit in red, have a think what this bit is before I reveal it. Okay, it's the address of where it is. Now, I don't... I, it is fictional, so I have just made that up, so feel free to copy that. I've then included this bit in blue, which, as you will have guessed, is the date. Then got Dear Mum in purple, so that is who I am addressing it to. Now, I have spelt Mum like this because it is American and I am pretending that I am Stanley. Then got this small, these two sentences here in green, and this is my, like, why am I writing? So why am I writing this letter to my mum? Okay, don't want her to worry. Let her know how much fun I am having, which is obviously a lie. Then got these three paragraphs in brown. These are the things that have happened. And again, this is where your work from yesterday comes in. These are your lies. Now, you need to be careful that you don't just list them. The food is great. We have been swimming. There's lots of greenery because you're not explaining it in enough detail. If you're saying the food has been great, add something in there. But my particular favourite was the lasagna, okay? Or I've talked about how extraordinary the meals are, but of course none are as good as yours. So I'm linking it back to my, the, the mum and making it personal. And then right here in pink, lots of love, Stanley, that's my ending. And I'm writing, I put lots of love because I'm writing it as if I am Stanley to my mum. Okay, so this example letter you'll be able to look at and you can magpie ideas from it if you wish. Now, I just wanted to look at a few of the bag elements and other things that make this letter informal. So, I have used dashes, okay? Dashes are often used to make it to make it more informal. So, here I am having a blast here. I think I've used another one, but I can't quite spot it at the moment. Oh, here, nicknames for each other. Mine is Caveman. So sometimes you can use a dash, a single dash instead of a comma, which makes it more informal. Okay, I have used here brackets for parentheses, so extra information inside my brackets. Again, it's just adding that detail, it's adding that extra spag element in there. Okay. I've got a colon down here to again for explanation about how good the showers are. I've used commas in a list, zero, x-ray, x-ray, squid and armpit. Throughout I have used um, questions. So I've actually asked my mum some questions like um, what's it like at home but I've also used like up here I've put how cool is that. So I have used a rhetorical question. Okay, so it makes that reader answer that question in their head. So that's another element in there. We've got water ski and jet ski here. So I'm using hyphens for some of my words. And I've also used a semicolon here. These two sentences link. So instead of having a full stop, I've used a semicolon. Remember, you don't need a capital letter unless it is a name. Oh, Colin. A semicolon, a semicolon, unless it is um, a name, okay? So what I want you to do today is I want you to write your letter as if you are Stanley and you are writing it to um, mum. You need to have your address, your date, who it's to, why you're writing, and at least two paragraphs about the things you're getting up to. Okay, at least two paragraphs. A paragraph is not just a sentence, you need several sentences within those paragraphs, okay? And then make sure you have got your ending. It's all going to be on the Word document with what you need to include so you can tick off as you include it, okay? Can't wait to read them. If you've got any questions, just make sure you message, okay?